So I recently got myself a 16 inch MacBook Pro so I could be editing on the go and I was looking to install a 360 video editor on it. First choice was Final Cut Pro. To my surprise, it's actually really good at editing 360 video. So here are my top 10 tips for editing a reframed 360 video just like this in Final Cut Pro. So the first tip I have for you is about the Info Inspector. So if you click on a video and then go to the Info Inspector, here you can see more information about your video. So here you can see this video is 5.7K resolution and is shot in 25 frames per second. So why is this important? Well, it leads into tip number two, which is about creating your reframed 360 video. You want to make sure that the frame rate of your project is the same as the frame rate of your footage. So let's go ahead and create a new project, which is basically the same as creating a timeline in Premiere Pro. And I'm going to rename this project to FCP Crash Course. An event is basically the same name as folders. And these are your folders in Final Cut Pro, which I created. So I'm just going to save this in my projects folder. You want to make sure that the start in time code is all set to zeros. Now I'm making this video specifically for YouTube in the 16 by 9 format in 1080p HD resolution. So under format, click 1080p HD, click 1920 by 1080. And this is where you want to make sure the frame rate matches the frame rate of your footage. So in this case, 25 frames per second and leave everything else the same and click OK. Next, I'm going to drag this footage into the timeline and I'm going to make it shorter by clicking and dragging it inwards till it's about 10 seconds long. And I'm going to pinch my trackpad outwards to zoom into the timeline a little bit. And the third tip I have for you is how to quickly reframe your 360 video. So if you click on the video clip and then click orientation over here, and if you can now click and drag this viewer to move your video all the way around and choose where you want to reframe it to very quickly. Tip number four is how to precisely reframe your 360 video. So if you go to the video inspector under orientation, you have three controls, tilt, pan and roll. Tilt will basically move the 360 video up and down. Pan will move the 360 video left and right. And roll will rotate your 360 video clockwise or anti-clockwise. Field of view will either zoom out the video or zoom in. And if you want to reset these values, just click the arrow over here. And it will reset all the values. Tip number five is to see whether you have a straight horizon. So to do this, go to view and click show horizon. And then you'll see this yellow crisscross. And now I can check whether my video is straight. And if it's not, then I can just adjust the roll to make sure it's straight. Tip number six is how to create a tiny planet video. And it's really simple. Just under mapping, click the drop down and select tiny planet. And you've now got a tiny planet video. And I'll just change the pan so that I'm on top of the tiny planet. Tip number seven is how to add keyframes. So keyframes is how you animate your video. And let's say I want to tell Final Cut Pro this is what I want the video to look like at the beginning of the video. So I'll make sure that the playhead is at the beginning of the video and add a keyframe for tilt, pan and roll. And whenever you add a keyframe for one of these options, it's always good to add a keyframe for these other options as well. It helps make the keyframing consistent. So if I play back what we have already, but just by pressing the space bar, you can see that I'm running around the tiny planet. But let's say I want to turn this into a rolling tiny planet. So I'll just click somewhere towards the end of my video. And since I'm running in the anti-clockwise direction, I'm going to drag the pan clockwise in the opposite direction. I'm going to go around twice, put myself at the top. And if I play this back, you'll now see the rolling tiny planet effect. Now tip number eight is about how to see your keyframes. 
So if you want to see where your key frames are, hold down control, click your footage and select show video animation. And here you can see your keyframe at the beginning of the video and your keyframe at the end of the video. If you want to navigate between your keyframes, you can click the arrows left and right. You can also click the keyframe and move it along. Tip number nine is how to add a LUT. First, I'm going to close the video animation. Make sure the video clip is selected. Go to video effects and I'm going to search for custom LUT. Double click custom LUT and under video inspector under effects, you'll have the custom LUT effect. Click the drop down and go to choose custom LUT. And since this was shot on the One X, I'm going to find the One X LUT, which I got from Insta360's website. Click open. And now the LUT has been applied. You can see it's quite strong. So I'm going to lower the mix to make it less apparent. So I've lowered it by half and now I've got this overall result, which looks much better. Now tip number 10 is basically an easier way to see a preview of your video. So the best way to do this is to hide the left and right sidebar just by clicking these buttons. And now you've got rid of these distractions and you can easily see a preview of your video. I can put the playhead at the beginning, press spacebar to play it. And you can now see a much bigger and better preview of your video. The final step is to export your video. So to do this, click export in the top right hand corner, click master file, go to settings, make sure the format is set to video and audio, make sure the video codec is set to H.264, leave everything else the same, click next, choose where you want to save the file to, click save and your video will begin exporting. Here you will see the progress of your video exporting. Make sure not to close Final Cut Pro whilst your video does export. When your video has finished exporting, you'll get a share successful notification. And that's it. I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to learn more about editing 360 video in Final Cut Pro, then check out my Final Cut Pro Masterclass on Udemy. The link is in the video description. And it will basically show you how to make a reframed 360 video and an immersive 360 video. All the footage and files is included so you can start learning straight away and I'll be there to help you every step of the way. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right guys, that's it from me and I'll see you guys in the next one.